Hi again. Hi again, guys. So, we really missed growing. We couldn't wait. <laughs> and um, I was like, hey, um, we have this two by two that we just emptied out. So, let's plant a plant. Let's plant a plant. No, I know a lot of people actually deal with not having a whole lot of space to grow. And um, right now, we are currently dealing with that. So, um, so we're just gonna try to do a little baby grow, a little mini series, uh, and see how she turns out. Yeah, basically, how small of a tent can we grow in a two by two? How big of a plant how can big, we grow in a two by two? Can she fit? So I've decided to kind of mirror Neil's last grow in his four by four a little bit. Um, but just a little, just a, with a little few differences. I decided to use the HP, um, just neutral soil. It does have a little bit of perlite in it. What's in the mix? And then um, also some cocoa and just some Harvest Hero perlite, which you know we love so much. So um, it's a very, it has very little newts in it. And so we are also going to be running Floriflex. Yeah. So I'm really excited. This is the first time I've ever tried synthetics personally. First time with the flex. She gonna be flexing. And so I want to learn a few things about synthetics and I kind of want to teach Neil a few things about organic. So this is going to be really fun for a little tester for me to like kind of dip my toe in. So yeah. uh, can't wait to show you guys. So I'm just going to put this baby in. What we have here is Purple Tie by Ethos. And um, she's just a little baby. I did just plant her what, yesterday. And she popped up this morning, actually strong. And I had her in my windowsill, actually, because yeah. we hadn't had this little tent set up yet. So um, I was like, look, we have to do this today because she's up. And I, I don't think she's going to survive in my windowsill, yeah. personally. Um, but this... Soil mix, I did put her in a little bit of nutrients. This is just Ocean Forest um, by Fox Farm. And I just kind of did it just to start her out in because yeah, I didn't honestly know if she was going to make it. Easy, easy little thing. And it was popped out for a few days in there. <laughs> it started to, we're like, uh-oh, let's just throw in some in some dirt, put it on the windowsill. And she's she's going strong. She's so going for it. I mean, she looks really healthy and happy. So yeah. I'm going to get a little shot purple, of her. Purple tie up there. Excited to try that one. We've, the other ethos we've grown so far have been great. So, so um, again, I, this is just cocoa perlite and a little bit of just kind of like a peat moss mix. And so we're just gonna put this baby in here and... Yeah, what is that, about 50% cocoa loco? A little bit more than 50%, 20, I would say about 70. Yeah, 25%, just some other basic cocoa that's just pure cocoa and uh, the Harvest Hero Silica Perlite. Oh yes, you're you're right. All right, so um, because that, that little center one is the Fox Farm Ocean, so a little bit of needs for it. Yeah. Okay, so because this isn't as compact as I'm used to, I'm just gonna kind of push it aside. Yeah, used to that airy cocoa. It's mix. very very airy compared to what I'm used right? to. Right, soil. It's a big difference. And um, this is not compacted at all either. This is actually a really risky move that I'm about to do. So she's a risk taker. Usually don't try this part at don't, home. Don't but try this at I home. I guess do try it at home if you want to. I'm not telling you to do what to do. <laughs> I'm telling um, you to do what to do. do you you, you do, do what you want. You do you. I, yeah. Um, but this is, I've never, uh, this is the smallest. Should I just scoop her out? I'm, I think you should do kind of your normal method or you think it's just going to crumble? I, I think it's just going to crumble. She's, she has zero, uh, anything holding it together. So uh, maybe moisten it first. Should I? I did just, I don't. Yeah, just do your finger, just do your finger jam and. Maybe just push it in there and hope, hope for the best. Hope and for maybe, the best. maybe compact it a little first. Yeah. All right. I guess I'm going for it. Right? <laughs> or you could just you could just set the cup in there, babe, and let it grow out, and then once it's bigger, plop it. Well, we're going, yeah, you know what? We're You're right. I'm scared. I want to just. Yeah. I'm what? just gonna scoop her. You good? I got you know I got witch fingers. <laughs> you don't want any of that dirt though. Oh, you're right. I'm I feel like that dirt can add some, some newts because the cocoa's not much there. You're right. Okay, I'm just going to... Should I compact it like I was? You know what? I'm going to go for my first thought and hopefully I don't crash and burn. You'll be fine. <laughs> we can do this. I believe it's in you. such a little baby though. 
Oh, I'm but scared. It's just a I'm gonna sprout. shock her. Okay. Give her a squeeze. It's a delicate procedure. It really is. A little is. tap. A little tap and squeeze. A little shake. A little bump and boogie. Oh my God, I'm scared. It's coming out, but not, not. There like it is. That. There it is. Ooh! Got it. I like the Halloween nails. <laughs> it is very close to Halloween. We couldn't film this yesterday, guys, because she broke <gasps> two nails. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No, no, you get in there. You get. <laughs> it's good. I'm just gonna. That's how, you, that's how I'm, that's how you do it. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully she doesn't hate me right now. She gonna make it. Should I keep putting this baby on top for a little while? Um, yeah, keep that humidity up. Let it keep I going. I think so too. She'll be great. All right, we'll put that right there. And let's put her in our little baby tent. Yeah, a little baby tent. We'll tell you guys about the little setup we're going in here. Kind of literally the most minimal thing we could possibly try and do here, just trying to keep it small. So right now, it doesn't have it in here yet because it's just a little baby. But what we decide to do is what was Neil was doing in his previous 4x4. And we're gonna do an auto watering system with the Floraflex. And what we're gonna have is like, we're gonna have like a bucket underneath that to kind of catch the, the runoff. These runoff. bucket company buckets are awesome guys for the runoff. Once we get the full grow room set up, I'll probably set up a system with the pipes and have a like runoff location. Uh, but for the floor flex, it works really well because you want to water till runoff so you don't get the salt buildups. Um, so it just works great. So this will be perfect for this little tent. And we'll just see, I mean, if it's anything like the floor flex plants, this little tent is gonna be maxed out and we're gonna really, Take it to the limits. Yeah, and we <laughs> do have two by her two. with the P2000 here. Nope, that's the XS2000. <laughs> Always do that. And we're running the XS2000, the extra light that we had uh, for the light in here. It fits perfectly. It'll have plenty of par coverage. Right now, we just have it turned down to about five, 10%. Yeah. But it's a perfect fit for the AC for a two by perfect. two. P more, probably more light than it can it can handle in here. So we'll keep it probably low most of the grow, but we do have it mounted. It's literally as high as we can go uh, in the tent here, just to try and make sure to give the plant enough room uh, because prior experience we're, with Floraflex, they- Yeah, we're expecting this baby to get as, as big as this tent. We'll see. That's how big, how big can we fit in this little tent. But other than that, we just have an AC uh, T4 up here, just directly through the vent hole, blown straight into a carbon filter. Um, so this is like the smallest setup we can have here. We got a little cloud array in the back just for some circulation. <laughs> <laughs> circulation. Circulation, keeping some air moving. And then outside we just have our, our timers here. One timer is for the light. One timer controls the pumps when we hook up the auto watering system, um, which we, I mean, really at this stage, we don't have to worry about. Don't for, need that quite yet, but we will be showing that very yeah, soon. Yeah, a couple weeks, but we'll show you guys when we get that all dialed up, but it's gonna be a fun grow. I'm excited to see what happens. What are your predictions for uh, the tent here, baby? You think it's gonna max it out? Oh, um, come see, I'm really, really excited because you could barely fit two in a four by four. Yeah. So. I think I think that we're probably gonna max this little baby out with one plant, and I'm, it's gonna be an auto. So I'm we're gonna blow so. your minds, I think. We're gonna blow the minds. Autos for I life. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see. This little AC uh, two by two is great. Just use it as a drying tent. But we're like, you know what? We still got probably a month left on the grow room, so let's get something going in here. Oh, I'm so excited. Ethos purple tie. Her birthday is 10-10. 10-10. Ooh. <laughs> That's it. So we'll give it about 84 days, see where she's at. I feel like the ethos finna finish out pretty fast. So we'll see how she goes with the flex. And uh, Yes, can't well, wait. May, might be transplanting her into the finished grow room studio uh, before this is even done. Yeah. I hope it doesn't take three months left. We're getting close. I hope not either, but I needed to put something in, you guys. I couldn't wait. Couldn't wait. We couldn't wait anymore. We gotta grow. We need to grow. We have to grow. Yeah. It's withdrawal. It's the real drug. It's growing. It's all right. <laughs> Thanks. 
Thanks so much for watching guys and uh, seeing what's going on. We got quite a, quite a lot of fun stuff coming up on the channel here. We just want to get back to growing something. Yeah. So that's where, that's where the little two by two magic came up here. So we're definitely gonna keep you guys informed, let you know what's going on. And uh, if you want to see some behind the scenes, more content, definitely check out our Patreon guys. If you want to support the channel to work because YouTube is so hard on. Definitely check out our Patreon. Creators like us. Coming soon to you our Patreon tent where you guys get to decide. Oh, that's right, Patreon. That's something we plan for the new studio, guys. Patreon tent where we let you vote what we grow, how we grow, everything about it. So that's gonna be a fun series just for the people who help support um, and you know all kinds of other fun stuff going on over there. So, so make sure you stay tuned yeah. and check out our lives on every other Sunday. Every other Sunday and check out uh, our Instagram and highgain.com for tons of discounts and deals. If you're looking for saving some money on grow gear or anything like that, you can definitely use our code. And AC Infinity, yeah. of course. Definitely help save you some coin and help out the channel if you're looking for some new grow gear. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Thank you, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.